Welcome back. 412 5700 on the Borders and Borders Hotline. Give us a call. Also, take it some more tweets at Josh Taylor HD. On Virginia and North Carolina, it is final. Virginia beats North Carolina 38 to 31. So, Virginia now in first place. They have the tiebreaker over Pitt, both teams at six and three, but Virginia beat Pitt in week one. So, Virginia assumes first place, play first place in the Coastal Division. Pitt just right there behind uh, the Wahoos. Going around the scoreboard in the coast of Virginia Tech loses to Notre Dame 21 to 20. They're now a game behind in the division standings. Also, Miami beat Florida State today 27 to 10. And of course, Pitt beat Georgia Tech 20 to 10. So as it stands right now, Pitt just right there behind Virginia. Virginia with the tiebreaker in first place in the ACC Coastal Division. He had a call earlier in the show from Joe. He was asking about Dante Moncrief, how much money he was paid out and how much money that he saves. Shout out to our producer, Jarrett, doing some uh, great research work here. Um, from what we know, from what the re research that Jarrett did, um, the Steelers, of course, signed uh, Dante Moncrief to a two-year, $9 million contract. $5 million of that contract has already been paid out up until this point. $3.5 million of it was a signing bonus, and $1.5 million of it was a salary for this season. So that's what he's been paid up until this point. But they also save $4 million next year, but they will also take a $1.7 million hit against next year's cap. Remember what I mentioned earlier, sometimes when they divide the numbers up, if you cut a guy before the second year, or if you cut a guy before the year before the contract's up, sometimes it hits you on that cap hit for next year. So they will have a $1.7 million cap hit next season, as opposed to the $5 million that they've already paid out. So Joe, hopefully I thought that answered, hopefully I think that answers your question. Uh, Jared also pointed out, if you look at the 5 million paid to Dante Moncrief up to this point, it's an average of 1.25 million per catch this season. Not a bad deal for him, but probably a bad deal for the Steelers when you look at it that way. Thought that was worth bringing up. Let's go to Rob in East Hills. Rob, you're on the nightly sports call. Yes, um, I just had a quick comment. Uh, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Um, I'm good. Um, we well, all made the comment about um, Gordon from uh, New England. A lot of people don't remember Pittsburgh is like one of the hated teams out of the AFC North and. Like, it was like when we had Jacoby Jones signed to the, to the team. You know, he was a great kick returner, but when he came to Pittsburgh, what did he do? Fumble his first three kick returns, and then he we was, put him on waivers? He was It's like bad. Pittsburgh is more or less, we find guys in a draft, we build them. And even with James Conner, you know, he was a backup. And then now he's a starter. You know, we're in a position with Mason Rudolph. He was brought here as a backup. Now he's a starter. It's just what Pittsburgh does, you know? Well, with that said, they picked up Joe Hayden after he got cut. He's worked out okay. Yes, yes. Just going by your logic. But I, I understand the sentiment. Thanks for the call. As far as the wide receiver position is concerned, you're right. They've made their best decisions as far as drafting and developing guys. But I'll make this case. For every one guy they've gotten right, there's probably a guy or two they've gotten wrong. I don't want to go back too far in the annals of history. But they've they've missed on a couple guys. Just want to throw that out there. You get for every for every you know for every uh, Antonio Brown or for every Juju, you might have a lima Swede here or there. That's all I'm saying. You might have a guy that just probably didn't wash out. And it's fair to say that it is as far as the draft is concerned an inexact science. So some guys you are going to hit on. The Steelers have done a great job of hitting on guys in the later rounds. That's the thing where they've really mastered that whole element. In the meantime, we are out of time. Of course, we're here for you seven days a week on the nightly sports call. Don't forget tomorrow, starting at 1130, Steelers kickoff on KDK, Steelers and Colts at 1 o'clock. After the game, make the switch. Join us over here for the extra point and a special version of the nightly sports call. I'm Josh Taylor. Make the switch to KDK. We got highlights coming up at KDK News at 11. See you next week.